crime in Brazil, I can say is way different than crime in the U.S. And I still plan to do a standalone video on this topic. But for now, all I can say is just be safe, not just in Brazil, but to whatever new surroundings you're in. What you just saw was a car break in. This area at night is not that good. And what you're about to see now is a car accident in the same location. It's just in the morning time. And I just so happened to look outside my balcony and saw this car accident. So what you're seeing now is just a response of the people that was in the car. And the crazy thing about this accident was that I was talking to my friend and we were just, you know, just looking at the accident to see what was going to happen because we didn't know whether or not it was going to get violent or what. And we was making an inside joke of, you know, well, you know, it can never happen to us being in a car accident. And it so happened after we got an Uber, no longer than 10 minutes later, guess what? We also was in an accident. This fruit here is called Kaiser. It looks like a mini orange, so you probably think it tastes like an orange, but it doesn't. To me, it tastes like a tangy strawberry. And if you're in Brazil, plan to visit Brazil. If you go to a supermarket, outside vendor, I would suggest you give this fruit or even the fruit juice. There is a juice they sell in supermarkets. Give it a try. You won't go wrong. Something you can experiment with on your trip. And inside this fruit is a nut that you cannot eat. So you got to discard of that. And what we're about to do is we're going to go to a new beach. But before that, we're going to have our breakfast slash lunch. And it consists of something, again, is very simple and easy. It's okra, purple cabbage, potatoes, eggs, and avocado. So simple, so easy. So after we eat this, we're going to go to this new beach that you will see. This is the juice I was talking about. So give that a try if you can find it. About two or three years ago, I think this is my third year coming to Masayo. It could be two. I tend to forget because I travel so much and travel so much just alone in Brazil to different states. I tend to forget. But my first time coming to Masayo, meeting her, and we having our first dinner date, just talking about things that we like and things that we don't like. She had saw the way that I eat, and she was asking me, okay, well, you don't eat pork, you don't eat beef, you don't drink or smoke anything. You like this at home, back in the U.S.? And my answer was, every day. You know, this is my lifestyle. If I wasn't in Brazil, the things you're seeing now, this is how I would be eating back home. The only thing I don't like about this apartment is the dryer. The dryer seems not to dry all the clothes all the way, but at least we do have a rack outside that we can, you know, dry our clothes, you know, the natural way. But I think the owner knew that the dryer isn't working that well, so that's why he does have that out there. But that's very minor compared to all the other pluses of this apartment. I mean, the great location, the beach is right there. There is a washer. We can cook inside this apartment. You know, the neighbors are cool. We have nearby restaurants, a grocery store, a pharmacy right there. So the dryer not working completely is, is very minor, you know, so that's not a big problem. So it's about that time, you know, the food is ready. We're about to eat. And then from here, we're going to catch an Uber to this new beach you will be seeing and if you haven't visited brazil before there is uber in brazil and just like in the u.s you can buy uber like i think it's like a credit card you can use and you can like reload it on the app so you can use that instead of using cash because you are allowed to use cash to pay for ubers in brazil so if you don't want to do that you can buy this uber card which i'll show in a moment that you can get at grocery stores or even pharmacies. And I think they're in increments of five highs. So you find some that are like five highs, 10 highs, 15 highs, and it just keeps going up. And if I'm not mistaken, you also can add 
a specific amount if you want to go over i think um i think it's 100 highs i might be incorrect but just go to a pharmacy or grocery store and look for these uber cards that you can use here it is right here mine's is 25 highs and that's what i'll be using in the beginning of this video i mentioned we were in an accident and here is how the accident went and it was our driver's fault because he wasn't paying attention and he was on whatsapp he basically hit a motorcycle and kept going and they tracked him down And the journey begins on our bus ride to the beach. Hey! She's brave. I cannot do this. I cannot trust a driver for a long distance, especially on a bus. So I'm the one that's staying up. I've seen too many accidents in Brazil, in person and online. So I just can't do it. But I'm gonna let her get her sleep while I'll be the watch person just watching the scenery and making sure we get to our destination safely and here we go here is the beach this beach is called sao miguel dos milagres so this little getaway should be fun because this is our first times together visiting this beach and as you see there's lots of other people visiting this beach at the same time as us so this is a big tourist attraction so if you do visit Maceo I would advise you to check out also Sao Miguel dos Milagres it is not very far away from Maceo and you will need to take either a bus taxi or an uber we took an uber and then from there we took a bus to Sao Miguel so now you will see the entrance into Sao Miguel Beach and I'm going to give you my personal view right now in the beginning and my personal view is that this is a local getaway as you saw in line you did not see a lot of tourists slash foreigners in line you saw Brazilian locals so this is a local getaway so if you so happen to be in the Maceió surrounding areas I would advise you to check out Sao Miguel for yourself. Here we go. Welcome to Sao Miguel dos Milagres. And as you see, this is a nice beach. Unlike other beaches, you don't see lots of dogs or stray dogs on this beach, which is a plus. You have restaurants as well as you have water activities you can pay for at Sao Miguel. Also, what I notice is that it's lots of land on this beach that isn't occupied by restaurants houses or anything it's just coconut trees and nature that's all and you will see some of this in a few minutes so that's gonna be the boat like that fuck that's small mm. 
It looks like uh, Galena, a little bit. No, no, it looks like Frances, like over there. Not a lot of people. Maybe because of the time of day, but it is not a lot of people at this beach. Also, it could be because of the distance. This is not close to Masayo. You know, it takes time to get here and it is not free. Also, we're comparing this beach to other beaches in the surrounding Masio area. We do plan to catch a boat to the middle of the sea. But they all seem to be very, very, very small. So that's the thing it looks with like me. Princess. I don't like little boats. And as you see, all these boats are super small, but we're going to decide on which one. And whatever the decision is, hopefully it's going to be bigger than what we see. But if you're wondering the distance to Masio from Sao Miguel, it is about two hours. So that's the distance. You know, if you take an Uber, taxi, or bus, or whatever, or combination, it's going to take you about two hours to get here. And that all depends on traffic, of course. It's not a lot of people. I don't think so. I think it's one. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there is another restaurant. But it's far away. Mm. So at this point, because we're venturing off away from where all the people are, you see no restaurants. Of course, you don't see any people. Well, it's less people. There's just boats. And at some point, you'll see nothing but just coconut trees, and that's all. So going back to my video titled Villa Velia, and me having that conversation with the Uber driver of some of my or some of our favorite beaches in Brazil, and our list was almost basically the same that we agreed upon which beaches in Brazil we thought were the best, and... The reason is from what you see right now, you know, Masio is conveniently located within lots of good beaches. Also, something that was on that list was the city of Natal. Now, Natal is unique to me because Natal was the first city in the world that I ever saw sand dunes on the beach. So when I saw that, that just blew me out my mind. And I do plan to visit Natal again at some point. And when is the big question mark? And that's because I have a long list of countries I want to visit. And those countries are in specific continents I want to visit. And also, it's specific cities within that country I want to visit. So it's going to take me some time to get to that point. But I do want to call myself a world traveler and not just a person that just travels to one or two countries. So once I'm out of Brazil, I will revisit Africa again. And what I will do is I will revisit some places in Africa that I visited before along with a few countries that's always been on my list. I'd never had the opportunity to visit those countries, but now I do. So stay tuned for that. But until then, I will be here in Brazil just checking off places that I always wanted to visit. And now I have the time to. So stay tuned. So if you're watching my videos and you have not visited Brazil before and you're considering visiting Brazil, but you need more of visuals in Brazil to make your decision, then check out my prior videos. I have lots of videos in Brazil on beaches showing you how beaches are in Brazil. And if you're a beach person like myself, you cannot go wrong with coming to Brazil. Now, I'm going to pause for a moment because I'm trying to think what 
other countries in the Americas, meaning North America, Central America, and South America, that has beaches comparable to Brazil? Is none. In North America, in the U.S., I would say maybe some of our best beaches are in Florida. The state of Florida cannot compare to any state in Brazil when it comes to beaches. Brazil wins hands down. Central America, put an X on that. There's no country in Central America that has beaches that's comparable to Brazil. Now you have South America. In South America, next door, you have Colombia. Now, Colombia beaches are okay, but in my opinion, it's nothing compared to Brazil. You have Cartagena. Cartagena has some okay beaches. I don't really like Cartagena that much, but it's okay. Nothing comparable to Brazil. Santa Marta, it's okay, but you cannot compare Santa Marta to any state in Brazil when it comes to beaches. But in Colombia, you have not on mainland Colombia, but it's an island called San Andres that's a part of Colombia. The beaches there are nice. You know, I would say that's my number one spot when it comes to beaches in Colombia. But again, San Andres is nothing comparable to any state or city in Brazil. So that's the reason why you should come to Brazil if you like beaches. You have lots to choose from. It's many options. So as a first timer visiting Brazil, and as someone that has visited Brazil before, I'm pretty sure you're going to agree with me. Make sure you make that first purchase when you're coming to Brazil to Rio because Rio would be the best representation of Brazil. Also, you have many beaches in the city of Rio. The state alone is gigantic, but you still have lots of beaches in Rio. So make sure you check Rio out first and then you can come here to Maceió. You can discover Salvador, Fortaleza. Natal, Hasifi, you have so many different options along the coastline of Brazil to choose from. But make sure that first flight purchase be to Rio. I had a family member once ask me if I moved to Brazil, what city would I consider? And the answer was, I do not know. Reason is, is so many cities I like in Brazil. Maceió being one of them but also i do like natal i like fortaleza i like salvador it's just so many cities i like along the coast of brazil that i wouldn't mind moving to so the answer is still a question mark with me i have no idea but something that i do know that i do not like is i would not like to move to a city in brazil that has lots of tourism that's number one. So if anything, like what you're seeing right here, this surrounding area around Sao Miguel, is not a lot of development in this area. So this would be perfect for me. It's cheaper living. You have beaches. You have nature. Everything is here. So we have made it to the end of my video and what we're going to do now is we want to get some lunch at the restaurant here in Sao Miguel and then after that we're going to come back on the beach and stay for a little bit and later on tonight we're going to go to our hotel that I booked earlier that's near this beach Sao Miguel. So we'll be here for two nights and then after that we're going to return back to Maceo because she has to work but if you made it this far in this video again Thanks for watching, and if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and if you have any comments, leave those, because I do reply to all my comments, and peace out.